CaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Filled up right there. 2019-20 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey 10 box in a case break. Number four, pick your teams. A lot of breaks are filling on the website, guys, so I decided to help Joe out as I finish my eBay breaks. Told him, hey, if any other breaks out, especially like Artifacts, I could break it. So he's actually breaking right now in his main studio. I'm here in my studio over here, and we're breaking Artifacts Hockey on this Tuesday, October 1st. So this is also an early bird break where we are giving away some overtime wave packs to the first 18 teams sold in this break. So if you bought one of the first 18 teams in this break, you were entered uh, into winning 10 packs of upper, to, uh, upper Deck Overtime Wave Packs. So we'll randomize this customer names. Number one gets all 10 chances of autographs, low number of cards. Really nice stuff, those Overtime Wave Packs, actually, guys. And we'll ship them to you sealed. So here's the customer names. We'll do that at the end of the break and any of the randomizers as well. And here you go. Artifacts Hockey, number four. Travis. Last spot Mojo with the Jets. And again, appreciate the fill, guys. Here's the overtime wave packs that we'll randomize at the end of the break. And let's open up some artifacts. No, David, so that only means that if you were the first 18 teams sold. So if you just bought two teams, uh, it doesn't mean that you're qualified if you bought two teams in the first 18 spots yes so yeah if you're if your name is not on this list uh yeah it is on your list right you're david s so yeah so if you had the oilers and canucks if you were the first 18 spots sold then yes you are a part of it so yeah the more teams you bought the more entries so if one guy came in and bought 10 teams in the first 10 then yeah you're good <laughs> uh no there's two names in there man i see you right here there you go. And this happens to be the last um, envelope of that. Artifacts Hockey. Alright guys, season starts tomorrow. Can't believe it. Hockey season goes by so fast, guys. It's like one minute, someone's hoisting the cup in middle of June, almost July, and then you're pretty much off all July, a little bit of August, preseason. September, and then back again in October. Crazy. I think my Kings start the season on Saturday. Back-to-back -back games. I believe they play against the Predators on Saturday at home, and then they play the Golden Knights in Vegas on Sunday. I believe the season starts tomorrow, right? I think Capitals-Rangers. Capitals-Rangers, I think. All right, guys, and of course, if we get any Roman numerals, uh, it'll be randomized to the customers in the break. Number one only is going to go to the uh, New Jersey Devils. Number two, three, et cetera, et cetera, any Roman numerals. And any wild cards will be randomized to everybody in the break. And uh, I think the way Joe did it is we kept it the same. We're going to go in order. So if we pull a wild card, that'll be the first hit. We pull a second one, would be a Roman numeral autograph. That'll go to number two. We pull another wild card, that'll go to three, et cetera, et cetera, just the way it came out, guys. So good luck. Patrick Kane to start off to three ninety nine for the Hawks, and then we got Alex Galchenyuk for the Arizona Coyotes. We got Alexander Barkov to one sixty five. Florida Panthers. Paul Mary. Uh, you got the blues? Two. That looks like it. Three. Just the blues, I believe. Or did I? Yeah, just the blues. Three, four, five, really? Yeah, it looks like just the blues. Andrew Lab. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you're also you got that spot also in the early birds. You have a chance to win. Ooh, look at that. 
Sidney Crosby double jersey to 99. Not an autograph for you, Don, but jersey. Nathan Bastian. Yeah, Liam, but you, you got a rookie redemption, which is probably a little bit better than that relic. <laughs> Connor McDavid, Oram. David with that one. And there you go. The first one is a wild card rookie redemption. So this will go to number one in the randomizer. Next box. Next box, guys. Felipe oh. Myers for the flies. And we got Derek Stepan Orem for the wild. Or, sorry, not for the wild, for the yokes. And we got Rigger Redemption, Carolina Hurricanes. Red 186. Hurricanes, Lewis. And we Alexander Trex here. To 399 for the Blue Jackets. And we got Dougie Hamilton to 165 double jersey. For the Canes. And we got Mikel Bachter to 85. And we got Brady Keeper. For the Panthers, it's 299. I think this one's gonna be a good one, guys. Oh wow, it's a black. It is gonna be a good All right. one. So we're doing the Alrighty. Right now, then we're gonna close out with like an hour long hockey. Behind Pekka. That should bring us actually 30 minutes over, so that should bring us that's the end of the night. Two out of two, Bill Radford. Whatever there you go, know. nice. For the Oilers. Double patch. Good goalies coach as well. Did they actually win a Stanley Cup in 1989-90? Because if they did, yes. I thought he didn't win a Stanley Cup. Because Ranford was there after Gretzky left. Right? Yeah, because I think Gretzky left in, what, 87, 88? But I know they did win a couple cups without Gretzky as well with Messier, but... Yeah. Still solid. All right, next one.
Yes, Grant Fuhrer was Gretzky. Was Gretzky one. <laughs> I know, we're both loud though, honestly. It's not that the doors aren't closed, it's just that, uh... It's like no ceiling here, so each studio is kind of exposed. Which we're trying to still figure out what we're going to do if we're going to close it up. But, yeah, it's kind of a... No, it's kind of a little pain. I'm sure you guys hear me over there sometimes, but I try not to be super loud. <laughs> There you go, Vegas Golden Knights. And we got Brady Kachuk. Ottawa Senators. Or him. And we got a Rookie Redemption. There you go. Montreal Canadiens. There you go, Don. I believe you have the Canadians. Connor McDavid is 699. And we got Tom Wilson, double jersey, Capitals, going to Sean. <laughs> All right. You know, it's funny, Rex is always the one trying to instigate us. Like, I'm like, do you really just want to see us fight or something? Like, he's always just like, you know, oh, Joe's going to beat you if you don't do this, do that. Next. I was like, do you, do you want to see it? Wow, look at that. Nice. A four out of five, Mark Giordano. Calgary Flames going to Curtis. John Tavares. And I think this one's going to be good too. It's a purple and it's a rookie. Zach. Shen. Uh, what is it? Sen Shen. Sen Shen. Some of these newer guys as well. I don't really know too much about them. So their names don't come into my brain. So I learn about them. There you go. Boston Bruins. Purple. William. All right, next one. All I know is that my Ontario Reign are going to be really good this year. The Kings aren't going to be good this year. At least the Ontario Reign minor league is going to be good. <laughs> Definitely got to go check out Rasmus Kupari. And Gabe Bellardi better be playing this year. Dude's always injured. Gabriel Lardy to me was a steal in the draft. But dude can't stay healthy. You seen him play? Yeah, well, dude's only still like 18 or 19. Still really young. It's like me, I love Adrian Kempe, and he's, I forget that he was a 17-year-old first-round pick for the Kings. He wasn't even 18 yet. Where he's barely, what, turning 21 now? I'm like, man. Still has a long career ahead of him as long as he continues to play. Sebastian so Ajo. I think he's going to take a big leap this year, though, so hopefully he does. And we got Max Domi. 21 out of 99. Colorado Avalanche. Yeah, LA Kings all day. Down kill champs. <laughs> now, um, I don't know. I'm kind of like William. I, I like I like the Avs this year, but I kind of like them every year. But to me, they just kind of blow it in the playoffs. You know? Um, I really do like this the Blues again. <laughs> I think the Blues are a nasty team. They'll be back again. Um, Nikolai Ellers. Um, I don't know. I think it's gonna be pretty tough. I know Colorado's gonna be pretty good. That Cal uh, Maker, Macker, is gonna be really good. Max Domi to twenty. But I guess we'll have to find out. I can't really say a cup prediction. It's a little too early for me, man. I don't know. But I do like the Colorado Avalanche. I'd like the Blues to be back there. I think the Stars are going to be pretty good, actually. Honestly, I think the Stars are going to be good. Sveshnikov to 65. Stars kind of shocked people last year.
Florida's always okay. I mean, I think Florida, Barkov's a very underrated player. There's a lot of talent over there with Florida. It's just like, to me, you know what? Honestly, like, it's like the Carolina Hurricanes last year. You know, they shocked people too. Um, you know, my East Coast team, guys, honestly, is the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm a big Kings fan, but I, I, I root for Austin Matthews. I want them to win a cup. I think it's been a long time for the Leafs since they won a Stanley Cup. At least get out of the first round. Beat the Bruins, at least. But, yeah, I mean, I think the Maple Leafs are talented enough. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of tough. I mean, I think the Devils in, like, two years are going to be super loaded. Honestly. The Devils, if they kind of stink this year, get another big draft pick. But I think the Devils are going to be pretty good. Not to play off good, but give them a couple years. Frank Vadana. I believe so. I don't think it's tough to get more artifacts. So if you guys... Ooh, wow. Look at this. Rookie autograph relic. Rookie relic redemption. Purple patch patch. Nice. There you go. That'll go number two on the list. I believe, right? Yeah, that'll go number two. Remember, guys, these autograph, autograph redemptions go for crazy money right now. Yeah, that's the thing. I think Florida lost a lot of games last year that they could have won. I really do like Barkov. I think Barkov doesn't get a lot of credit. Uh, Boston Bruins rookie redemption, red number 183. Because he plays for Florida 1. He's Russian. Canadians don't like Russians so much, right? <laughs> and uh, he's kind of, honestly, he's like, he's like Andre Kopitar. He kind of gets underrated, undervalued. But he's a solid defenseman, two-way defenseman at that, you know? Offensively and defensively. Yeah, and then they also got Bobrovsky, so they kind of got their goaltender of the future. Right? Uh, Tomas Hurdle. No more Roberto Luongo. He's just re enjoying retirement. Nino Niederreiter. So, yeah, Florida wouldn't be a bad team to mess with as well. Dylan Larkin. And we got Team Tundras. Tundra teammates, sorry. 123, 199. Steven Stamkos and Nikita Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Vancouver could be another good team this year. Vancouver is really young as well. I think uh, Quinn Hughes is going to make the team this year, right? Or has he already? I haven't seen who's gotten dropped down to the minors or not. But, I mean, Elias Pedersen, Brock Besser, if they both stay healthy, they're going to score points and goals. You never know with the Canucks. Vegas. I mean, Vegas is always going to kind of be there. All right? Ducks, I don't really know how good the Ducks are going to be now. Quinn Hughes or Jack Hughes, chat? Quinn Hughes, right? One in Vancouver, his brother. I know Jack Hughes made it. I don't know if about Quinn Hughes or not. Paul Grunstrom to 499. Nice. Kyle Torres. That's how it goes, man. Got to play to the whistle, Liam. Then you got Joe Sackick, NHL All-Star. So that'll go to the team he played for the longest. Of course, it's going to be Avalanche. I think he played for the Nordiques, who also became the Avalanche. Nice. 
And speaking of the Ducks, Max Jones, double jersey, purple. Anaheim Ducks, Sean. And Roberto Luongo, future Hall of Famer. To the Panthers, to six ninety nine. Didn't Corey Perry go to Dallas with uh, Pavelski? Well, I think Corey Perry got bought out, first of all. Carter Hart. Flyer. What about the Flyers, actually? Flyers. I like the Flyers. That's another team that I kind of root for. And then we got a look at that Emerald rookie wall card redemption. That'll be number three on the list. Emerald mean I believe it's out of 99. Or not 99. Uh, here, one numbering. There you go, number three. Bennington. Officially going to be in his second year this year. How's he going to do after winning a Stanley Cup? You know what I really want to break? I want to break some 14 15 cup hockey. That stuff is loaded. guys still five more boxes so we're, or four more boxes so we're halfway yeah guys the next new release though I believe clear cut comes out in like two weeks if not next week I don't know if we'll be getting any of that but I'm gonna try to as well for here and then later on this month, guys, in October, clear uh, cup hockey. That should be a very fun release. That's right, Chad. You're a Rangers fan, right? I have a buddy of mine that's a Rangers fan. Kirk McLean. And we got, for the Dallas Stars, Autofax. Who has the Dallas Stars? SKS. And then we got a wall card rookie redemption. This will be going to number four on the list. Carl Grunstrom, $3.99. Now a Pierre-Luc Dubois. Not sure, Liam. You can get a lot of different things. They're just unannounced rookies. 24-45, Austin Matthews. I'm not going to lie, though. If you redeem it, Liam, it's probably going to take about a couple months, if not four or five months, because... They have to announce the checklist first until like December, January, and then produce the cards. But they do sell well as is, though. So if you ever decide to sell it, I'd sell it like that if you don't want to wait. Kenny Malkin to three ninety nine. And we got Quinn Hughes. There you go. Speaking of Quinn, four ninety nine for Vancouver. David with the Nucks. Yeah. Alright, three boxes to go, guys. Drunken Stanley Cup champion. 
Brad Marchant, the guy who likes to lick people in the face. And Philip Zadina to four ninety nine. Number six overall pick for the Detroit Red Wings. Philip Forsberg. It's funny how they call him Scoresberg, but I don't think he scores that much. I guess he does. 20s, 30s sometimes. Taro. Marsha is definitely that kind of player that you root for if he's on your team. Nice. Look at that. 2 out of 10. Lord Stanley's Legacy Signatures. Rod Brindamar for the Hurricanes. But if he is not on your team, you kind of hate him. Hurricanes going to Lewis. All right. Jeff Rookie Redemption. Dallas Stars. Hollabuck. It's a 699. Last two boxes. Ultimate, those are nice. Those shields. I've only pulled like three shields of those in my life. Belsers. And Ethan Bear auto facts for the Edmonton Oilers. It's going to David. And the Oilers. And a SP5 rookie redemption. Nice. Short print number five. There you go. It'll be on the list as well. Sedina. We got Andreas Anthem to see you. Who has Detroit? Stephen K. There you go. Tyler Bozak. And the book is 87 out of 25. Legends material. Heidi Grove. Old school right there. Old pieces of Heidi's lumber. Nolan Patrick. That's an old game used material right there. And we got John Tavares. Double jersey for the Leafs. Travis with the Leafs. Yeah, I know, right? All right, guys. Last box of the break. Good luck. Appreciate you guys selling it out, allowing me to break it for you guys instead of having to wait till tomorrow. So we'll have more hockey. I see we got some more hockey stuff in the inventory room that we'll probably be posting very soon guys and again now the hockey season is back tomorrow a lot of new releases two releases this month clear cut the cup and then i think in november we'll be having black diamond hockey uh december should be a new release and then we'll be getting back like opg platinum ice spa all the good stuff yeah i was talking to nick about that i think we, i think we might post one soon not too sure when but we'll definitely post one um That'd be fun, doing a little hockey mixer.
Maybe when I get back from Philly as well. Premiere this year was really good, William, actually. It really was. Last year's premiere was... Eh, not so good. <laughs> it was still good, though. It's a good price now, though, so... We can buy some premiere now, and... It's a good price, so definitely buy it up on our website. It's a good price. Bobby Ryan. Wow, look at this. Esteemed endorsements. 9 out of 20. I think this guy just had a quadruple hard bypass. Guy Lafleur. For the Canadiens. Nice. I kind of like the acetate feel. Really nice. Don Rad. I think you got the... Canadians, second to last Bob Mojo right there. And then we got a Capitals rookie redemption. Zabinaja. <laughs> Canadians were in $200, Liam. I think they were like 80 bucks. Maybe 200 in the master. But it'd be 160 actually. But. Zach Parise at 125. Gibson to 45. Is it Benajad the captain now? Really? Doug Gilmore. And we got Johnny Hockey, Johnny Goudreau for the Flames. Oh, they haven't named it, but he might be. He's rumored to be. And there you go, folks. That was the break. Pretty solid stuff. Nice low number rookie stuff. Two out of two. Nice Gila floor. And we have some really good rookie redemptions in here, guys. So what we'll do is we'll roll the dice. We'll do the rookie redemptions first, and then the 10 packs of overtime wave. So number one, we'll get a rookie wild card redemption. Red 214. Number two in the randomizer, we'll get the Autograph Rookie Relic Redemption, Purple Patch Patch. Number three, we'll get the Emerald Wild Card Rookie Redemption, Red 213. Artifacts uh, Rookie Wild Card Redemption at number four. And how fitting, number five, we'll get the Short Print Number Five Rookie Redemption, SP5. <laughs> and there you go, just in that order right there. So yeah, guys, if you didn't really hit much in the break, this is definitely a way to make up for it. And that's the cool thing about artifacts. I always make up for it this way. So there you go. Let's roll the dice, and we'll do the redemptions first, which will be five and a three, eight times. Good luck, eight times. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm doing the packs first. Sorry. I guess we'll do the packs first. <laughs> uh, number one gets the packs. Five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, and eight the final time. John, at the top. I don't know if I called your name today, John. With the fly, oh, I did flyers, but there you go, John. Ten overtime wave packs coming your way. Now let's go for the redemption now eight times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six. Seven. And eighth in final time. Eight times. Who made it in the top five? Number five is going to be... Lewis, you're going to get short print number five. Congratulations. Robert Marsh. You're going to get a wild card. Three, Curtis. You're going to get the emerald wild card. Ooh, number two. Who's number two, guys? Travis. Last spot mojo strikes. You're going to get the rookie autograph number three. Uh, purple patch patch at number two. And at number one with the wild card, Don. There you go. And there you go, folks. That was the break. This was Artifacts Hockey. Ten box inner case break. Pick your teams. Number four. Appreciate the fill, guys. We'll have some more hockey on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Have a great night.